that halftime video was almost the best video I've ever made for this team. And we come back, and Foster Moreau drops the game-tying touchdown on third and goal to tie the game. How else did y'all think that would have ended? Did y'all really think we were going to get blown out? No, of course not. We found a way to make it one of the most heartbreaking defeats I've seen. And now we're 3-4, and four, and we're under five hundred. And we they just they just got all of our hopes up. I'm not gonna lie, guys. After the pick six, I turned the game off. After Derek Carr threw the pick six, I turned the game off. I, I turned it off and I started working on my homework. I started working on my speech that I have to do on Tuesday for my one of my college classes. And then I heard we gotta stop on defense on fourth and something. We stopped the Jags on midfield to get the ball back down twenty four to sixteen. And you know what? I turned the game back on. And I watched the score touchdown. And I watched us get a stop again on defense. And I watched us go three and out. And then they scored. And then we were so close to scoring again. And you know what? This is tough to evaluate, guys. Uh, you can say that even though we lost, we saved the season because we found an offensive rhythm. But we still lost. And who's to say we ever see that kind of rhythm on offense ever again? Because honestly, Derek Carr was probably calling those plays in the two-minute drill. He was probably calling those plays himself, not Pete Carmichael. And even though Derek Carr was probably calling those plays, Pete Carmichael probably saved his job, sadly, just by even doing anything on offense at the end of the game. It's pathetic. That actually is the worst thing that could have happened. It would have almost been better that we got blown out. That way, the, 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 the fucking front office would actually take this seriously and realize that we have to make changes. But they're not going to now, most likely. Knowing the Saints, they're, they're, too, they're too scared to do that. They're, they've been holding on to 2018, 2019, and 2020 for three years now. They're holding on to that. They still think they can recreate what they had, and they can't. And yes, that, that near comeback was very fun. It was awesome. But what does it do for you in the end? If only Foster Moreau fucking caught that. I would have been down to go for two right there also. I'm not going to lie. I would have been down to, I would have been down to go for two because I didn't like our chances in overtime. I really think with that momentum, you had to just... That sucks so bad. That sucks. That sucks. Now we're three and four. Haven't beaten a good team still. They showed you something at the end of the game. You, you can either take that as a positive or you can just... I don't know what to think of it right now. I don't care. I'm numb. I, it, it is what it is. Three and four. We have a mini bye week coming up. We got Indy next. There's no point in going with the stats. Derek Carr... I'm not going to lie. He played a great second half. I didn't see some of the second half. Uh, I missed about the last half of the third quarter. After Derek Carr picked six, I didn't turn it back on until it was 24 to six. And you can call me a Fairweather fan, but you know what? I don't care. Um, I just, I had homework to do. And I I was getting so heated at what was happening. I was was actually getting so frustrated that I was literally worried I was going to like break something. So I, I, I felt like it was best for me to turn it off. I don't regret. I don't necessarily regret turning the game off. I don't. You can call me a Fairweather fan. I've been watching this game. I, I had season tickets in 2021 and 2022, and I went in 2021. I went to the Dolphins game where we lost 20 to three. I went to the Bills game where we lost 31 to six. I went to the the Falcons game which we came back down a bunch of points and still lost in the end. The Giants game which we blew up a huge lead. The Cowboys game which we just got destroyed. I stayed the whole game for all those games. So you know what? You can call me a fucking fake fan. I don't care. I, I don't regret turning the game off for a little bit. I did turn it back on, and I watched the end, sadly. But this sucks. We're 3-4, and four, and we suffered another heartbreaking defeat in, like, four days. We have two of them. So it feels like we should be 5-2 and two or 6-1 and one right now, and we're 3-4. and four. Now, the schedule does get easy, but you know what? Who's to say we're not the easy schedule right now? We are the easy schedule. Teams see the Saints are like, oh, fuck yes, we play the Saints. We're going to win. Like, I don't have much to say. Michael, That Michael Thomas touchdown was awesome. That was one of the – that got me so fired up. And it sucks we still lost. But tell me what you guys think. Are you guys optimistic after the way we finished the game? Or are you guys like me and you think that was the worst thing that could have happened? Foster Moreau, fuck you. Fuck you, Foster Moreau. The fact that he was sitting there crying and his teammates were tag tagging him, fuck that. That's why we suck. That's why we suck, because we tag tag each other when we do something bad instead of actually holding each other accountable. 
and trying to get this shit right. This is that's why we suck. That defines the Dennis Allen culture of the Saints. We're tat tatting each other. Oh, it's okay. Keep doing what you're doing. It's gonna get better. No, the fuck is not. It's the same shit. I can't do this. I have to work on a speech. This has been a terrible night. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I'll see you guys um next next Sunday for Indianapolis.